Hi, I'm Dean Argent, a university qualified mechanical engineer. I'm a licensed motor dealer and the owner of usedvehiclesales.bigbenforsale.com.au. In this video, I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of this 2003 model Ford Transit Automatic. Well, it's, I think it's automatic. There's no clutch in there, but it changes gears. I'll show you all that. That I got for sale right here on my yard. I, it's the high roof one with the uh, medium wheelbase, if that means anything to you. But uh, let's go along and I'll show you what's going on. We'll measure up in the back. Now, first thing I want to show you, car, van, truck, doesn't matter. Before I buy them, get up the side like this, looking for reflections in the paint. See how there's not a single dent? And I'm looking across the front for stone chips. There it is. That's the one. And the same up this side. There's not a dent in this truck. It's as new. So um, you can have a, have a good look around there. You can see the tyres. Well, they are new. But... They are wearing just like they're a few percent worn, but where they've been wearing, you can see it's wearing evenly across the surfaces. I like that because it tells me all the suspension geometry and steering components and that are doing what they should. Now, the only thing that's wrong with this van is this, this strip. Someone's made that. It's not like this side where it's just one piece. And guess what? We rang forward and you can't bloody get them. So that will be why someone's made that one up. But that's the only thing with this van. If that bothers you, go buy a new one. Other than that, this is as new. Let's keep going around. I'll show you what's going on. So get in here. You've got the strong arm window winders to pump your guns while you're driving along. The seats are in very good shape. No stains, marks, dents, all that stuff. It's all in good shape. Let's have a look up here. It's very, very low kilometers, this car. 111,000 Ks. Now, there is an interesting thing going on here with this. So... You've got the park brake there and see it's only got the two pedals so there's no clutch but you put it into drive to go and oh you must have the brakes down then into drive probably have to have the keys in the ignition there we go so if i do that i'll put it into neutral first then we start her just like that just starts and goes and then over here we've got this thing so to put it in reverse there that says r2x you've got to go foot on the brakes one two there's reverse, put into drive, drive, put into neutral, neutral. That's it. It's got three modes. It's got kilograms, I think that's if you're a fatty, <laughs> E star if you're a coldie, and E if you're E, <laughs> whatever that's meant to mean. But the radio Hi. booming, got the CD player in there. You can change gears here. So what I was going to say, you put it into drive and it's auto, but it does drive up the road and it changes gears. Like it goes, brum, brum like that so it doesn't so it's a manual but auto if that makes sense to you there's the log books and stuff in there why has this car got such low kilometers on it i don't know but what i do know is that we took off a ton of sign writing off the side of this van that said something to do with uav like unmanned aerial aircraft sort of thing what are those things so um unmanned aerial vehicles that's what it was and so I'd say it was like hanging around airports and stuff like that, which are possibly why it's got such low Ks. But have a look at the shape of it. There's not a dent in it. When you get these vans, yeah, there's the back wheels. That, I pulled that out before because that, that goes with it, but it's not, in, it's not installed. It goes with the van. Got the tow bar down here. Look at the back doors. To get these vans without a dent in the back door is something else. You don't normally get that. But have a look in here. Yes, I did pre-position that tape measure. But what I really wanted to show you was, although there's a few little bits and pieces of paint missing, this van has not been bashed around. It's been hardly used as a van heavy, carrying heavy stuff. Because when they are, like those wheel arches are all bent up and dinged in and caved in and stuff. Scratches, that's not what I'm talking about. Dents and bings, that's what I'm talking about. So you've got the step there to get yourself up in here. So the distance between those two wheel arches is just shy of 1400. So you'll be able to fit a pallet in there, no stress. If I put this this way and uh, show you here the tape, she's going to be something like, you're going to pretty comfortably fit 2.4 in there. So, uh, and height wise, well, I'm 5'8 and I'm not quite standing up. So I've got my knees bent just a little tiny bit. So I'd say she's 5'6 to the roof up there. But um, there's a look around inside. So it is the high roof one. It's got this area up here for storing things. 
stashing bits and pieces, whatever you want up there, bits and bobs, extra cargo, whatever you want to do with it. So there's a good look around inside there. Let's go around the this side. And again, it's in screech and clean, good shape. It looks like and presents like a new one. It really does. And I don't say that if it's not. So um, everything's working like it should. There's the look around like these vans they've always got dirty marks and shit down the back of this one back of the seats and stuff this one just doesn't have any of that now on these the battery's down under the seat there so if you ever have to jump start it and you can't find the battery that's why and we'll have a look in this side here there's a look in the passenger seats across the dash like there's no scratches or anything on this so it's not it's just barely being used drink holders what not there it is strong arm window winders so there we have this 2003 ford transit uh mid wheelbase high roof t 33090 now i hope you think i sound like i know what i'm talking about when really i don't <laughs> but there it is so when the cars come into the yard the next part of the video is going to explain everything that happens when they come in like well, the mechanical process that they go through and all that stuff that's included with the price so so when the cars come into the yard, we do six levels of inspection. The first one is we do a road test. We drive it around a very specific test track and we listen for all those noises and stuff that shouldn't be there. Then we do a yard test. And so in the yard test, what we're looking for is that everything works like it should, like the windows go up and down, the fan works, everything in the car is working like it should. And if it's not working, I will have mentioned it in the previous video. Then it goes into mechanical. The mechanic's got a quite an extensive checklist of things that he uh, inspects, things like is the spare tire there and is it fully inflated and all those sorts of things. All that stuff's done and that's what's covered off in mechanical. So that's the third level. On the fourth level, we do a roadworthy inspection. We get an independent mechanic who does his roadworthy inspections on the vehicles. He's licensed by Queensland Transport to come out or do them at his facility. Either way, it doesn't matter, but he does the inspections on them. He gets underneath every single car and he checks all the suspension components and all the things that are required for the roadworthy. So we have a properly done roadworthy certificate by an independent person come out as well. And then on the fifth level of check, we do a quality assurance or a QA run. What happens there is someone who hasn't driven the car and hasn't worked on it, he then goes and drives the car after it's been through mechanical. And he's basically doing a double check like what a buyer would do. They get in it and if there's a noise, they're like, ooh, what's that noise? Or stuff like that. He comes back if there's any of those things then we've identified them through the QA run. And what that does for you is it allows, well, from, from my point of view, it allows me to know and stand there quite confidently and know that the car is prepared properly. And then on the sixth level of check, what we do is before the car goes out, um, well, so after it's finished the QA, the cars then go out the front of the yard and you would have seen them in the background of the previous part of this video. Um, and they sit out there until they go out. Well, before they go out, we do another level, the sixth level of check, where we just check that the wipers are still working, that the uh, little sprayers haven't blocked up, that none of the bulbs haven't stopped working or any of that sort of stuff. So there's the six levels of inspection that we do on each one of the cars. Now, I don't expect you to believe me when I tell you I prepare the cars like that, but as you could tell from the previous video, we are on dirt. I do not have concrete, I don't have flags, I don't have salesmen ready to pounce on you when you come down. In fact, this is me pouncing on you now. So if you're still, hello, you there? Hello, come back so I can pounce on you some more. <laughs> so if you're still there, the reason I'm telling you this is because I don't have all that expensive shit, we don't have the overheads. And it allows me to put the money back into the cars. And that's why but I don't expect you to believe that either. But what you should do is go and have a look at our Facebook reviews and you'll see the vast majority of our buyers are more than delighted with their car because of the work we put into preparing the cars. So with, with that, we have buyers, they come from way up north, like up Cairns, way, way out west. They catch the train down, to, well, they catch the plane to Brisbane, they catch the train to our location here, and then they drive their car off. If they don't, if we don't prepare the cars properly and they fall apart on their way home, they don't get on Facebook and write good reviews. So 
That's why I'm proud of the level of all of the cars that I prepare. Although I muck around in these videos, what I don't compromise on is the quality and the standard that the cars are prepared to before they leave the yard. And that's reflected in our Facebook reviews. The link is included on this page, so go and have a look and see what the crowd says about working with us. So because of the work we put into the cars, all the prices are fixed. If you turn around and go, hey Dean, are you negotiable? I'd be like, yes, I'm negotiable, but why would you want to pay more? <laughs> so I do that because I seriously, I can't take out what we put into those cars. And frankly, I don't want to. If the cars don't meet it, the standard, or they can't easily be brought up to that standard, I launch them off through an auction. And that's why you shouldn't buy cars from auctions, because that's where blokes like me dump our garbage. Okay, so this car has been through all the inspection and is come up properly and is prepared properly. So therefore I have nowhere to move on the price. The prices are already good anyway, otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on and got this video. So the price, so the prices are all fixed. And the last thing I want to tell you before I tell you what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised is that we need to make appointments to come out. Now we are not your typical yard, like I said before. We can't, we're not equipped for people just to roll up and walk out. You're more than welcome to come and check the cars out and take them for a spin. I've got no trouble with that. But you just need to let us know when you're coming. We've got a couple of guard dogs that roam around here and they we put those away when people are coming and uh, that way no one gets bit. Everyone's happy. So if you let us know when you're coming, we'll put the dogs away, we'll open up the gates and um, we can show you the car and you can have a look over that and any others that might work for you, whatever you want. So please make an appointment before you come out. So what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised for? Good question and I'm glad that you asked. So firstly, is it comes with either six months Queensland Rego or the Rego that you see like the date. Have a look in the text above, it'll tell you the expiry date or six months, whichever one it is. If you're an interstate buyer, give us a call, we'll tell you how that works for you. We are a large dealer with Queensland Transport. What that means is we have the number plates on site, we have all the paperwork, all the forms, all that stuff, so you don't even need to go into the government department and get sneezed on by all the grubs, we do all that for you. Aren't we good? So all you gotta do is fill out some forms, we stick the paper, the number plates on, we do all the paperwork for you, drive away, nothing else to do, all that's included in the price you see. So, all your stamp duties, transfer fee, government rip you off fee, all included in the price. The next thing is when the cars go through mechanical, one of the things we do is a fresh service. So your vehicle has been freshly serviced and you will not need to do any scheduled maintenance for the next 10,000 Ks or six months, whichever comes first. It's got guaranteed no money owing, guaranteed not stolen, guaranteed never written off. I'll show you all that on the paperwork when you come on down and it's also got a current roadworthy certificate. So we have the independent inspector, he's got a license from the Queensland government and he's the one who says this car is in a roadworthy condition. So we've brought the car up to that standard as well. So it comes with the roadworthy. So yes, we do trade-ins and if you need help with your finance, there is a link up the top of this page that says no deposit finance. He could put your details in there and our finance guy will come back and he'll give you a quote on exactly how much it will cost you per week to drive away in this fine automobile. Well, I'm Dean, thanks for watching this video. If there's anything I haven't covered, feel free to give us a call, drop us a text or whatever you wanna do. We can take payment by cash, by credit card, by internet transfer, bank check, however you wanna do it. Best off if we do internet transfer, that one works best for us. Uh, but however you wanna do it, it's entirely up to you. Well, I'm Dean, thanks for watching the video. If there's anything I haven't covered, feel free to give us a call, drop us a text, and uh, I look forward to meeting you soon. See ya.